everybody. I'm Judy and with me is Angel and today is Friday, December 18th. This afternoon at 2.45 we will begin our two week long Christmas winter vacation. Here's what's been happening this week inside LHS. Progress reports were mailed home last week. If you haven't received your progress reports yet, check your power school account or talk to your guidance counselor or advisor. You will have about three weeks after vacation to improve before midterm exams and the end of the second marking period. On Wednesday, December 16th, both the 9th Grade Academy and Abbott Lawrence 9th Grade Academy presented their Performing Arts Winter Showcase. It featured 9th grade band, dance, and orchestra students. This performance took place in the Performing and Fine Arts Center at 6 p.m. and admission was free. But throughout the event, donations for the 9th Grade Performing Arts Department were accepted. You can see a recording of the performance on Comcast Channel 99 or Verizon Channel 41 next week. And the Abbott Lawrence Academy presented the play A Christmas Carol. Look for that performance on, on Comcast and Verizon in the next week as as well. exciting news regarding Dancing with the Stars Teachers Edition. Yesterday, December 17th, was a drawing of the dancing partners and the style of dance for this year's show. Dancers will have from now until spring to practice and learn their dance and preparation of the show that will happen in the spring. This is the fifth year of the Teachers Edition here at LHS. We'll have more information in the weeks to come. In other news, our LHS newspaper, The Laurentian, just got published two weeks ago on December 1st. Its first edition of the school year was based on six articles and one interview. If you are getting interested in getting a copy of it, please go to MST Room 305 and talk to Mr. Fakara. Also, The Laurentian is still in search of reporters, writers, and photographers. If you're interested in joining The Laurentian, talk to Mr. Fakara. There are many talented teachers here on LHS campus in all six schools. From time to time, we talk to them on camera and ask, why are you a teacher? Here's this report by Carla Fernandez about MST physics teacher, Mr. G. Hi, this is Carlos Fernandez. I'm here interviewing John Gelsomini. Is it right if I call you that? I prefer Mr. G for the interview, Carlos. Thank you. Mr. G, sorry, a few questions. Where did you graduate and why physics? Was there something to spark your interest in physics? Well, I graduated from UMass Lowell in physics uh, just a couple years ago. And my interest in physics started when I was in high school. I had a great physics teacher who was really into music. He was a great piano player and a great guitar player, so that got me interested in it when I was then. Well, that's very interesting. So why LHS and not Central or North Andover? Well, I started here at uh, Lawrence High School because I worked through this fellowship program at UMass Lowell where I got introduced to Mr. McDonald and then he introduced me to Mr. Palladino. And I worked here last year a couple days a week with both of them, working on uh, some classes that they had, physics classes and McDonald's computing class. And I just really got to enjoy the school and the people working here and had fun. So I decided to continue on. So you've been here for a little while. How do you feel about the LHS environment? Uh, honestly, I like it a lot. I, I do. I, it's kind of surprising. Lawrence gets kind of a bad rap, but there are a lot of really great students here, a lot of really hard workers, and it's just, in general, been a great environment to work in. Do you feel you can or have already helped change LHS? Well, I can only hope, Carlos, but only time will tell. So what made you want to teach? Well, you know, it's really, I've had a lot of great teachers in my own life throughout my own career, and that is kind of what inspired me. I learned a lot from them, and I, I really enjoyed their classes, so I wanted to do it myself. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Carlos Fernandez, signing off. Thanks to Carlos for that report. This week, winter sports finally kicked off. Here's Sammy and Joseph with the full story. What's up, it's MST's Flies. I'm Sammy, and with me today is Joseph, 
We're here in the gym with Winter Sports. This week on Tuesday, the boys and girls varsity basketball season finally tipped off. The boys played away at Central Catholic and the girls played home against Everett. The girls came up short, unfortunately, in a tough game. The girls JV team won their home opener with a final score of 18-6. The boys were at war against Central Catholic and came up victorious with a final score of 61-53. The Lancers will see Central several more times this season. Today, they take on Tuxbury away. The girls play home against North Andover. The annual Christmas tournament for boys varsity kicks off this Sunday after Christmas. Christmas, December 27th, where the Lancers will take on the Salem at 11 a.m. The Christmas tournament this year will be held at North Andover High School. Last Friday, the wrestling team hit the match for the first time in a quad meet here at LHS. The track season also kicks off this week with their first meet tomorrow at North Andover, starting at 10 a.m. Best of luck to the track team. Well, that's all for this week for Lancer Sports. Best of luck to all teams. Everyone have a nice vacation and stay jiggy. Last Saturday, the Timber 12th was the first Lego League qualifier meet here at Lawrence High School. The Lawrence High Robotics team, the Gearheads, hosted this event in order to get middle school robotics teams to come together and showcase their creations. The Frost and Gilman schools represented Lawrence. The Gearheads have been mentoring these kids to help them improve their robotic skills. First Lego League is a uh, robotics competition for 4th through 8th grade middle school students. Um, and there is a game that they uh, try to score as many points as they can on this game. Um, and then depending on how they score in their matches here today, uh, we will have seven teams that advance to the state championship next weekend. So the gearheads are working really hard putting this thing to, uh, together. They have, as you can see in the background, they have become judges, refs, they have um, working session stands over here. They're just doing a fabulous job and I am very proud of the hard work that they are doing and very excited that this uh, competition is running very smoothly. Hello, my name is David and this is the first LEGO League qualifier and it's hosted by the Lawrence High School Gearheads. The Lawrence High School Gearheads, they're going all over the place. As you see me, I'm a runner where I have to go tell the teams when their matches start and where to go. And other people, they're like referees, there's judges, um, there's inspectors, and everything. There's even people selling snacks all the way in the corner. It's very fun so far. Um, the teams are having fun pretty much. Um, it looks pretty cool, the game. I've never done it before, but just looking at it, it looks pretty cool. I've been the MC for this match lately. Uh, things have been a little bit hectic, but we've been keeping it under control. The matches have been going fine, and everything's been going fine. The event's been going very well lately. Um, I'm a runner. I'm a runner. Everything has been going smoothly. We are just bringing teams to the queuing area, and it's going out great. <laughs> I am also a runner and I do the same job as Sharpie and we just help we help teams go to the correct area and to prepare for their matches. The LHS Robotics team begin their season after vacation. Despite the above average temperatures recently, winter is right at our doorstep, leading to a possible hazard for animals. If you have any outdoor pets, please make sure you give them a warm and safe place to go. Also, make sure to check any vehicles for any cats or wild animals which might be seeking shelter. You do this by banging on the car and checking under the wheels. If you have any questions on what to do, check out the MSPCA website for more information. Since Rome was done with 2015 and 2016 is right around the corner, we sent out some of our reporters to ask to answer, what is the New Year's resolution? To stay focused on myself and in school and just be low-key. Um, try to make a difference in society and um, I want to be different from everyone else and I want to be better than what I was before. My New Year's resolution is to be happy, um, like genuinely happy, not just waking up every day and like painting a smile on my face. I want to actually be happy. Um, to lose weight and to get better grades. Uh, actually the same thing. I to lose weight to get better grades, get bigger. My New Year's resolution is to find happiness. My New Year's resolution is to be a basketball player and to be a good at football. My New Year's resolution is to get taller. Thanks to Period 4 and 5 News Documentary for that news report. Well, that will do it for Inside LHS this week. The next time we see you, it will be 2016. We are on vacation officially at the end of school today. We come back from vacation when classes resume on Monday, January 4th. Thanks for watching. Have a great vacation. Right now, we're going to invite everyone behind the scenes of the news out here so we can all say Merry Christmas.
Happy holidays. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year. Lawrence High School. <laughs> and the Girls Ensemble uh, will be participating in a wonderful collaboration with the Hanlon Haydn Society Orchestra and Chorus in February. And they've already started to learn some of the music for that project, so we'd like to give you a little preview of that. Um, the piece is entitled Ave Verum Corpus, and it's written by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And the Girls Ensemble is going to join the concert choir for that performance of that song tonight for you. So come on up, ladies. Thank you. 